after setting the parameters, let's power off the controller and now start wiring it up, mainly connecting the temperature sensor, pressure sensor, and the valve body. The first step is to connect the cable of the temperature sensor, which is connected to terminals 13 and 14 in the bottom row of the controller. There is no color requirement for the connection. In addition, the second connection to the pressure sensor is also on terminals 19 and 20 in the lowest row, but it has color requirements. Terminal 19 is connected to the brown wire and terminal 20 to the white one. This is a temperature sensor, which is connected to terminals 13 and 14. As you can see, there is no distinction between the two colors. There is also one cable for pressure sensor, which is connected to terminals 19 and 20. There is a color distinction. Terminal 19 is the brown and 20 is the white. Next, we connect the wires between the DX3 valve body and the controller, which are connected to the above row 42315. The order is that the first terminal is connected to the white wire. The second is connected to the brown one. The third is connected to the black wire. The fourth is connected to the blue wire. And the fifth is connected to the gray wire. This is how the electronic expansion valve is connected to the controller. You can see that the connection is like this. The first is white. The second is brown. The third is black. The fourth is blue, and the fifth is gray. 